be able to measure in the attic, to have that. And of course, this is our uh, the, the, the real future. The certain version is a uh, future supercomputer. In our version here, you can pass as a, uh, the uh, grand vision that uh, you can provide the uh, circular E plus minus to set up the Higgs uh, factory and the uh, future energy frontier, having in the energy regime. So the Snowmaster study uh, listed some parameters that you can go to see the details if, uh, if some of you want to look into the model physics. So that is a uh, okay. So because of time, I will be very, very brief to tell you that uh, the Higgs factory will be able to, so here the cross-section is peaked at this uh, uh, region because of machine. 200, you put a thunder bar with uh, the luminosity, uh, 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 ultra-bar luminosity, you are talking about the million, uh, you name it. Okay. Then the accuracy immediately won over root million. Okay. So you have a huge accuracy to measure this. So the, uh, then you can measure this up to the <coughs> model independent measurement of these processes, percent level to the, to the total width. Total width is much more important than mass. Mass is a free parameter you can see it from anywhere. Total width tells you interaction. Tell fundamentally, the left time is fundamentally the left. <coughs> Measurement of the total width is extremely important. Okay. Now it's to go to my favorite. So we just sent out the paper if you want to read. And uh, the Dima and uh, Lo Mangano and uh, Lin Tao Wang uh, just sent out this, uh, this paper. We to discuss how many TV uh, collider we uh, made up in exactly how many pages. And then to propane and uh, for TV. We should also make it more propane, maybe hundred million dollars. But that's, uh, that's different <laughs> time. But so it's uh, the collection of uh, current pro pro uh, pro uh, possible uh, uh, thoughts, thoughts about uh, new physics. So the cross section is increasingly huge. Like uh, the measurement for the self interaction is only uh, reasonable for this uh, uh, self copying, uh, Higgs copying, 8%, less than 10%. That is adequate to, to, to tell you first order phase transition or second order phase transition. Because you need order of one correction to drag this uh, phase transition to be <coughs> the strong first order. But uh, these, the coupling to the top quark, as we mentioned, you can also mention, it's very important to understand our vacuum stability. Okay? So uh, uh, percentage measurement from this future collider is only uh, possible at this uh, future machine. Okay? So I basically give the punchline already. So let's skip many other things. So here is the details how to measure this uh, position. And then uh, the next one is, <coughs> if I also mention <coughs> 14 TeV, to have a few hundred events, but you see that uh, at uh, the uh, future 100 TV collider, you even just have a few hundred events for the uh, kind of a heavy new, uh, new top quark partner to uh, keep this natural, you are able to reach a TV system far away from the next one is uh, uh, argument. Therefore, the accuracy I mentioned to you already is 1%. Then you put this naturalness, unnaturalness to 10 to 94. Even more amazing than uh, what my daughter can do. Okay. So that tells you that uh, that really tells us a lot of fundamental principles. Whether we should have a new principle to give up is fine-tuned. Or it's fine-tuned to tell us it is not fine-tuned, new physics should show up in the future. Okay, dark matter search. Dark matter is particularly good both in the low mass region from the collider and in the high mass region for the collider. Because the low mass region, the direct detection is insensitive. It's too little kick. Okay. High mass region, and uh, it's cross-section too low for direct detection. There's a big parameter region that your application <coughs> will hit the, the big wall. But the collider search will march you to a further, further uh, region. If this uh, dark matter is of so-called wind, weakly interaction, of course, dark matter doesn't have to be weak. But as long as uh, in the most uh, uh, motivated scenario, that would be okay. So then you can see that dark matter search can exchange the LIC by a factor of five in the mass region. So it really gives you a huge, so, it is not even natural uh, for the dark matter to be around the 2 TeV, but uh, we can uh, we can uh, get this up to 5, 6 TeV. I think the dark matter issue, wind dark matter issue is basically covered for this machine as well. New physics such as new V prime, W prime, a new color the states, and you name it. So the heavy Higgs, new heavy Higgs, you can go uh, to, uh, to exchange a G TeV region coverage at LRC to 10 TeV region for the uh, 100 TeV machine. And if they, they see some connection with the new heavy leptons, it's a, the coupling is very different from the standard model one, and you can extend this uh, from uh, an order of uh, <coughs> TeV region to 10 TeV region already. So this energy gain by uh, factor seven, factor seven, really helped you tremendously. Now let's put everything together. So, particle physics is 
very much connected to the other fundamental physics, such as cosmology and so on and so forth. We are talking about the same thing. We only want to understand nature to a deeper level. Nothing more than that. We just want to understand nature to a deeper, deeper level. We hope to have discovery. Even if we don't have discovery, we understand nature to a deeper level anyway. That's our job. Scientists' job is to understand nature. <coughs> That's all. So far, we, did, we have these electric uh, particles produced that we really understand very well. And, and, but we don't know the major part of the, uh, uh, the uh, budget is for the universe. Dark energy, which may not have uh, too much to do with particle physics. But dark, dark matter, we mostly believe it has something to do with particle physics. But uh, we are constructed here. How we can go f further to make uh, a connection? That's what we, all we have. We are marching into a shorter distances, and what we, ha we have discovered here is a new particle, brand new particle that couples to mass. Very, very different from, from anything else. So, studying these Higgs to a great detail, and studying the, uh, the Higgs with associated new physics is our uh, next job, no question. If you don't do the Higgs factory, someone will. Higgs factory will be built. Any particle, new particle discovery, near the factory. Kayon factory, B factory, charm, tau charm factory in Beijing. Any new particle built, not mentioning about the most of the series one particle like Higgs here. So this will be built. Okay. Now let's look at the, the overall summary. Higgs particle is indeed a new class. It may well be the uh, pivotal point for uh, these uh, uh, different physics. Energy frontier, we're talking about intensity frontier with the neutrinos and in physics and polar physics and so on and so forth, and cosmic frontier with the dark matter and the electric field transition and so on. Okay. So naturally speaking, I mean, the theory is natural. Then the Higgs should not be just there as a solitary particle. It must be related to some new physics we are hoping to, to see, although we, don't, we haven't seen anything yet. Precision Higgs measurement from LIC will lead the way, but uh, the Higgs factory and SDPC will be fundamentally important to have a conclusion. Okay. LIC is great for us because may not be adequate to answer many of the questions. But uh, CPC and the SDPC uh, certainly will march into the new territory, both in terms of precision and in terms of energy frontier. That will push new physics search, new particle search, up to 10 TeV and uh, maybe the 30 TeV region, depending on the, the interaction, and uh, push the fine-tuned uh, concept to a uh, two order of magnitude, which is unprecedented already, and dark matter search to the, uh, to the extreme a few TeV region. I think it's an exciting journal ahead of us. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. okay, I guess uh, only questions all convinced <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned about you know it's very important to know the uh, the width of the Higgs mass and the Higgs width but most of the machine here we cannot directly measure it's all indirect so my question is, how important to make direct measurements? Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, uh, I think I think uh, Bob agrees with me that the measurement of Higgs mass is extremely important. At the LSE, uh, you don't have the direct access because the width is a uh, uh, full ME. So your energy resolution, you have energy resolution, you don't expect to do that. That's why you are involved with the question about this. If only direct measurements, really direct measurements, to see the, 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 the line shape, to me, we are correct my favorite too, but uh, it's probably too far away from technological aspects. However, the Higgs factory, both ILC and C, uh, CEPC, will have the uh, model independent direct measurement. In the sense, the, the process I draw there, give you the direct measurements, give the direct measurements to this uh, model independent parameter coupling. This one. This coupling here uh, would not be able to measure the absolute scale at LIC, at any hydrocarbon, but you can, because of the very well known uh, initial state, because of the very well known final state, independent of the Higgs behavior, independent of Higgs coupling, you can measure this coupling absolute. Once you uh, measure one absolute uh, coupling, you can use breath to fraction to reverse to calculate the width. That is uh, the uh, uh, model independent measurement for the width, not direct measurement for the line shape. But it's a model independent. Any model, the width is fixed. No question. Once you know the branching fraction, you know the branching fraction, you know partial width. That's the way to calculate. So Higgs factor will give you the model independent measurement, measurement of this Higgs width, no matter what the, this Higgs is. Any weird particle or something, you can calculate the width. You know. 
Any other questions? Um, the design of FCC is very complete, so they can do everything. In our case, we try to cut those uh, not so important uh, uh, problems and either leave to others or we just say, okay, uh, as it is, uh, don't worry too much about it. So a typical example here is a 350 GB TDF bar Higgs couplings. How important it is, we have to spend, say, one or two billion dollars more to cover this energy point of 350 GB. Can we talk about this after some beer? <laughs> <laughs> you don't put me on spot. <laughs> it's a physics question. Yes, yes. Yeah. I only speak for myself. Would that be okay? So I only speak for myself, but it may not be the... Uh... Who is the kind of you should speak? <laughs> uh, uh, this is very important. It's absolutely important question. So in fact, there was another one uh, through the W threshold. There's another one at the Z-pole. We, we know there are a few thresholds uh, to really explore in quantum physics. If I were making a, the choice, if I were pushed to make a choice, <coughs> in factory, it's the first thing we do. And there's everything else behind. Top box threshold, TG box threshold is important to, to uh, measure the uh, top box uh, coupling as well as well as the top box mass to keep, to see this uh, uh, the vacuum stability. I don't think that's uh, pressing enough. No. If you want to make me, if you ask me to make a choice. I will not do that. If I, if if we, if you know the people there, so let's get money to do that. But if uh, if you want to put me a choice. I would put the Higgs factory a must. That's the whole motivation. <coughs> really brand new. Z pole second. <coughs> Z, uh, to return the to return the Z pole second. W pair remote third. T D bar remote third. I can tell you my reason, but uh, I think you running very long. <coughs> I have reasons. It's not just running. Okay, I think we have, uh, for the experts, we have the remainder of the week to debate on this. So, are there any student questions? Did everybody follow that calculation? That's your homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't see any, so let's thank uh, both Director Wong and Director, Director Han again.